Hi guys, time for the Libra reading. Let's do a three card spread for the sign of Libra. I'm just shuffling my cards here. We have got uh, Tarot in Wonderland. Again, my favourite deck for doing this with actually. These images seem to work really well for me. So three cards please. Let's have the first card in this spread for the sign of Libra, which I'm doing right at the beginning of August 2019. And it is number 11, and it's Justice. Now, when this card comes in, it can be kind of easier, it can be harder, by uh, quite a lot large measure, in fact. This card says that Justice will somehow be served, yeah? Things will get done somehow the way they should. Things will be put right. But the question is, who is dishing out the justice here? Is this you, Libra? Or is it someone kind of trying to put you in order in some way? Maybe a way you don't want to be put in order. Well, um, you know, I'm sure that uh, being free and independent is the main way to actually live out your spiritual purpose and your spiritual life. And I'm sure also, I'm equally sure, that when you're living out your spiritual purpose and focusing on it, all the other things, kind of relationships and, you know, career and things, tend to work out a lot better. So it could very be, well, it could very much be well worth... <laughs> what a sentence. It could very much be well worth uh, putting your own ideas on hold for a moment. Uh, rather than actually just getting rid of your own ideas, reevaluate your own ideas in the context of what's being said to you. If this is a relationship issue, it really, really is time to uh, to listen, yeah? And that could be for the other person in the relationship as well. But there's input to come in and it's very balancing input and Libra I hope that is going to suit you because uh, this card justice really is everything to do with balance I think most of the cards in the tarot are actually uh, you know they all have their different meanings but basically in the tarot as in any other spiritual thing that we do um, it, it's a journey and uh, the more we listen to it the better we do excuse me a second hmm just enjoying some tea out of my cup, which has no handle on it. Goodness me. Uh, okay, there is actually a royal proclamation in this thing, which I've tried reading out before now. It doesn't go terribly well because it's in very small print. But basically, the Queen, she's got the sword there. See, the sword of justice, really. And I'm even going to say sword energy around this card. So it's you, Libra, or Aquarius, or Gemini, because it's the air signs that go with the swords. And um, in so many ways, it's about getting things done, but it's also thinking the decisions, uh, what needs to happen in the mind before we make progress onto the next step with the Justice card there. It's number 11, though, so it's um, it kind of stands on the shoulders of the last thing that, uh, that came to completion in your life, Libra. Looking very, very positive, but of course, you know, it, we'd never really know what the outcome's going to be. When this card comes up, it's going to be an outcome that's decided by other people and not by us personally. That's just the way it goes, you know. Some things are out of our hands. But it's no bad thing, really, you know. We are a part and parcel of the world around us and uh, everyone in it. So, let's turn to Ask an Angel, which I'm using this week. Tony Carmine Salerno, working out of Blue Angel Galleries in Australia. A fantastic painter. So, I'm saying, tell us more, please, about number 11, the Justice card in this reading for the sign of Libra. Tell us more about Justice for Libra in this card, in this reading, in this card, in this reading, please. Okay. And we've got Prayer. Archangel Sandalphon. Now, Archangel Sandalphon has a great ability to help people free themselves from addictions. And uh, when I say addictions, we tend to think of kind of drugs and alcohol, cigarettes, that kind of thing. But it can be the television. It's really, it's, it's sort of anything that will take our minds off the way the world is kind of generally speaking, treating not just us, but treating people the way the world is. And I don't mean just the, uh, the whole massive world, although that is the bigger picture. I mean the world in which each one of us lives. So uh, think about that, you know. Are you addicted to something like TV? I, I, you know, is it something you do every day that maybe used to serve you but doesn't serve you as well as it uh, used to? Worth thinking about. But this is all about prayer. It's about turning our thoughts to the divine. And if you're not a believer in God or anything like that, then it's really about the higher chakras. And it's really about what goes on up here. Because when this is uh, kind of uncomfortable and perturbed and disrupted, life goes the same way. 
you know, um, if, if you've ever tried to work with someone who's had a serious addiction problem or uh, perhaps a mental health problem, but something that kind of puts them out of sync with the rest of the world, uh, then those are the kind of things that can, can, that can go wrong. And it's their world around them that's difficult. So prayer is really about bringing truth, bringing peace into your own life. And as you think of those prayerful thoughts, and people who don't pray never get this, but as you think those prayerful thoughts, you kind of can't help going over in your own mind what would actually happen if I got what I wanted here. Uh, what are the responsibilities? What can I do to make it sort of work better? And we become much more realistic about what we're asking for and what we wish for. And when they say be careful what you wish for, that's the thing to do. Uh, it's not just kind of, you know, it sounds a very negative thing. It's not at all. If you're careful what you wish for, then things are going to pan out much better in life. That's just the way it is. And prayer is a wonderful way of getting to grips with that. Coming back into the spiritual side of things, we've got the five-pointed pentacle pentagram star there uh, showing, and that, that indicates actually that uh, the spiritual realms that we link into when we meditate are just kind of, you know, just like half an inch away from the top of our head. That's just, you know, they're not, they're all around us all the time. But, you know, it's a good way to think of it. Because we do have to make the effort to link with uh, that knowledge and, and those people as well, which I strongly believe myself. I know everybody doesn't, but our ancestors are never far away, friends. I'm telling you that. Okay, so back into Tarot in Wonderland after another quick drink of tea. Excuse me, there's no handle on this cup. Uh, it's quite a good cup, but the handle wasn't. It came off straight away. Okay, let's have the middle card in this spread, please, for the sign of Libra. In the first Libra reading of August 2019 that I'm doing. And uh, let's have that middle card, please. And it is Six of Swords. And there is a fine full moon in the sky there. Now, this does look a bit of a kind of a grim card, a bit of a negative card, but it isn't really. What's really happening? If it didn't look grim, we wouldn't notice how rough the water is here. And just further up the river here, there's lovely smooth water. And they'll be there in a matter of, well, oh, less than a minute, I would think. They're very, very close to plain sailing coming in, okay? The full moon up there says we've got to keep our thoughts on the spiritual. That's uh, the second time that's come in. And uh, that is always important. Uh, the fact that there are no leaves on the trees suggests that there will, in fact, it, it promises that there will be leaves on the trees. Uh, whatever's going on with genetic modification, they do manage to uh, grow a few little leaves on them, uh, even in the worst situation. So life will return to those trees. Life will return to this scene. But it's a nighttime scene at the moment. Um, it's, it's, it's almost dark. It would be very dark if it wasn't for the full moon. So uh, there's uh, an indication that uh, things are going to feel very dark unless we kind of lift our minds a little bit to the more spiritual level of things. But it's a journey, guys. Um, I almost feel as if someone pulled the hermit card before I uh, started this reading and that somewhere hanging over my head is the hermit card because this feels like the kind of situation that happens when you go into the hermit thing and uh, go over, you know, pick over with a fine tooth comb your own kind of spiritual progress and maybe ask yourself why things aren't going the way you thought they would. But look, we need someone else here. We've got the sheep shopkeeper. She's also the queen of pentacles in this deck. And uh, she is actually taking Alice on this journey because this journey is actually about learning. So if there's been isolation, uh, Libra, don't be... Uh, just don't be staying on in that isolated state, whatever you do. You know, other people matter so much. That journey could be lots of things. It could be the long, dark night of the soul, which we all go through when things just don't seem to be working out or even beginning to happen a lot of the time. Um, it could be, well, it could be a lot of things, you know. But the bottom line is it's a spiritual journey and things, you know, the waters are going to get a lot smoother, a lot gentler. Uh, you'll be out of the rapids just like Alice and Madam Sheep shop here are going to be out in the rapids very soon so let's say tell us more please in this reading for the sign of libra about the six of swords tell us more about the six of swords i'm spilling cards left right and center here but when i spill all of them there's no point trying to read all of them so i keep shuffling and the card we've got is beauty archangel haniel now this is a complete contrast isn't it to the six of swords here 
And this tells me I was maybe going slightly in the wrong direction thinking about, you know, how we've got to work somehow with the, uh, the natural darkness that comes around us in life. And now we get on to beauty and it's anything but dark, this card, isn't it? So there we are. Actually, no, I'm sure I was right about that because it is that long, dark night of the soul kind of thing when uh, life isn't easy and things tend to get in the way. So focus on and be aware of your own beauty, guys. There's a song by Björk called uh, She Believes in Her Beauty. And you've got to believe in your own beauty. OK, that's what this card is really, really telling me. And it's really pulling that out of this because if you don't believe in yourself in some way or another there's not much point well there is much point you'll still get into the smoother waters but you won't be able to do anything with the wonderful new calmness that comes around you so focus on your beauty and just look at all the magic in this card you know uh red pentagrams it's really going forward all those purple hearts as well okay looks like there's been some bravery here as well speaking of purple hearts Interesting. Right. Let us move on and say let's have another card please in this spread for the sign of Libra. Let's have another card please in this spread for Libra. And we've got number four, the Emperor. There he is. Now then, on the one hand, the Empress is part of the double act of the Empress and the Emperor. Now the Empress understands the seasons. She's very much about things being seasonal. And actually, you know, it could easily, this, this card could just mean low season, not much happening at the moment. It's wintry, isn't it? Probably not the best time to go out in a boat. But uh, now the seasons, you know, is, is all to do with the Empress. And when we come to the Emperor, he's the other side of that ticket. He uh, kind of understands that when good things come, they'll come for a season. And it's worth kind of hanging on to some of the resources and being careful with what you've got to get you through the time when uh, there isn't anything coming in the other end of the seasons. Uh, so resources are really highlighted here. Um, he doesn't look like a man to consult anybody, but it looks to me as if he's consulting this parrot here. And being a dodo, maybe those guys can talk to each other. But there's birds everywhere. It's higher chakra energy. He looks a very, very grounded character. But this is really in the higher chakras, this one, because of all those feathered creatures. And not least because he's a feathered creature himself. So this, right, when we get the justice happening in the first card here, that's going to bring a bit of freedom. That is going to bring you into the smoother water and then this is going to lift you really high spiritually and it's also going to move you along in terms of the real world if this is a love card uh sorry if this to you is a love reading and the meanings of these readings are really the ones you think they are okay because you guys are drawn to look at these for a reason i'm sure of that uh the meaning of this is in terms of love and relationships it's just you know there's always a pulse to things there's always a bit of up and down is there not Kind of unavoidable. Let's find out some more about the Emperor. Tell me more about the Emperor, please, in this reading for the sign of Libra. And we've got forgiveness. What am I doing? Yes, we're well, sorry. Quick moment of madness there. We've got forgiveness and it's Archangel Zadkiel. Now, she is burning with passion in her heart here. She really needs to get things sorted out. She needs to be forgiven or does she need to forgive? That's the question. Possibly she needs to be forgiven because she's speaking her own truth here really positively, uh, really powerfully with all this uh, this turquoise around her. But there's some need for forgiveness there. And so do you need to forgive? Or to be forgiven? Think about that one, guys, because that can really create stuck energy in a very big way that can stop things getting you anywhere, that can stop things moving forward. On that note, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. And uh, thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, please. Leave me a comment. We'll share the journey. Subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell. And I'll be back very soon. Peace.